Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my man Dan is up to his old tricks again with new concepts. He's trying to lighten out a racket? Shaving? Not his face. Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of the day is Lampy, L-A-M-P-E. Lampy writes, hey, Harry, thanks for your always helpful and authentic content. Does help me a lot. I wonder if you can get hands on the Prince Twist Power X97 slash X100 Tour Series any information about how it does? Question mark. In Europe, I can't find it for sale. Greetings from Vienna, Austria. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we did try the 100 about a year ago, the Twist Power 100. I literally just got my hands on a 97 from my man Dan. So we are about to test it. Um, soon. So look for that in the next few weeks. Um, but yes, the, the problem with prints is they are distributed by Tennis Warehouse. I'm not sure who distributes in Europe, but um, unless you order it from Tennis Warehouse, there's no, they're nowhere to be found, especially uh, that particular racket, because um, I'm sure they developed it and marketed it themselves and will only sell it out of their site so it won't be in any stores you probably will have to buy it from the u.s market somehow is uh, my guess um the last time i looked it wasn't even there the 97 at least so we were very lucky to get it from my man dan who bought one okay so good luck um check out the reviews and maybe maybe you can get an idea of how um, they play Okay, thank you for the coffee, Lampy. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook me up and the channel up, check out Super Thanks. There's a little button on the bottom called Super Thanks, and you can hook us up however great or little you would like. Or if you want to just buy some merch like a lot of people want to do, um, but don't make it to my site like this cap. Website is tennisspinusa.com. Check out the merch there. All right. Thank you all so much for supporting us. All right. So my man Dan, I guess, has a lot of time on his hands. And he said, this is what I'm going to do a week ago. I'm going to take a pro staff and take out all the grommets. And I'm going to start sanding it down. And I'm like, dude, you're going to sand down to nothing. Those things are hollow. He's like, no, no, no. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to just sand it so it, it, it drops weight. So it, it may be a gram or two here or there i'm gonna see how far i can get i'm gonna be like you're digging down to china dude there ain't gonna be nothing but a hole right through your racket and he's like he's like okay we'll see we'll see uh he literally just walked in with not one not one two pro staffs that he's sanded down so check them out this one still you know, you can see pro staff there. Um, so this one, you can't. <laughs> you can see graphite there, though. And then the other side. Um, he's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he said that one was sanded down 5 grams and the other was sanded down 10 grams. I'm guessing since this doesn't have writing, that this is the 10 grammar, 
And since this still has writing, this is the five grammar. And I think that's kind of how it feels. So these were standard pro staffs, the uh, 11 one ounce versions. And he's like, go out and hit with it. He, after he sanded it down, he actually put a little, um, the little clear coat on it so that it glosses it up a little bit. And, and I don't get graphite on my hands and fingers. But uh, he says it plays well and the extra weight taken off feels good actually so i'm gonna weigh and balance them just to you know just to check out where he's at with these but so here's the thing he said i was like when you start sanding that dust from the graphite is bad for you you don't want to be inhaling that he's like the interesting thing when i was sanding it down was that i didn't see black or gray on the counter when he was doing it and I'm like, really? He's like, I literally just sanded down the, the laminate, which was like their own clear coat throughout the whole thing. So I was like thinking to myself, that's interesting. Um, but hey, I don't know if you want to be sanding graphite down like that, you know, unless you have some protective gear. So let's check out the Pro Staff one first. Okay, the regular. My guess is this is the heavier one. 11.3, that's with the strings and the dampener in there. 3.20. I mean, considering this is supposed to be 3.15 without strings and a dampener, right? He sanded some, something down there. All right, so this is, my guess is the lighter one. 3.13. Eleven ounce, little different, little different. Maybe not quite five and ten, but definitely significant. They probably started off a little off too, knowing how uh, Wilson is. So um, I'm probably not going to really mess with balance too much. I mean, let's just take a quick look at it. On the lighter one, whoop, 315, 315 on the lighter one. Wow, I feel like that's 315 without strings normally on the lighter one. This is gonna be right in there too. Yeah, interesting enough, it's right around that 315, 14 mark. Hmm. I'm so interested to see how these play. I'm worried, though, that the walls are going to be, well, he said they're not going to break, and he doesn't hold me responsible. So as long as that's true, let's go test it out. All right, hopefully they don't crack.
All right, so we just got off the court with my man Dan's sanded down pro staffs. Very interesting. Coach Goo, go for it. Thank you. Um, I can tell there's a difference. He did a different job with both of these rackets. Uh, one of them is actually, he sanded off quite a bit of weight on one of them. So this one, he sanded off about 10 grams since Harry told me. Uh, it definitely does feel a lot lighter. Um, this actually feels like kind of an ultra, like a base start of an ultra, um, because it's due to its lightness, and also when you swing, it actually goes through the air really quickly. Usually pro staffs don't go through the air that fast. So this one is actually pretty quick. So you sand out a lot, and you can feel the difference. It does, it does lack a little bit of stability because of the paint and, the, of course, the weight of it. But overall, it still had good feel. Uh, it still had a lot, it actually had a lot of power, um, but it lacked a little bit of stability. But if you're looking for like an ultra kind of starter, this is kind of like the, the base of it. Um, the other one, he sanded off about, correct me if I'm wrong, five grams, five grams, um, which is not as significant as this, but it does feel like to me, a blade light, like a blade 98 light. Um, it definitely has the pop. It actually still has the stability feel wise is there, but like I said, it's an interesting kind of ordeal because when you shave off a bit of the racket, you actually, it makes a difference in a way. You actually notice the differences. And I think this is a cool experiment. And I guess this is, something you could do in your free time to try out if you really want to spend 200 and whatever how many <laughs> bucks to uh, shave a racket down. <laughs> but no, honestly, this is a lot of fun to try. Yeah, no. Coach Ching. Oh, sorry, I forgot to point out. With this racket, he actually sanded out the whole thing. So like the outside is actually sanded out throughout into the inside. This one actually was sanded only to the front and the back. So on the sides, you can still see it. Yep. So the five grams, I assume he's just shaved off the front and back. Uh, the ten, he shaved the whole, almost the whole thing off. Yeah, he had to take more off. He had to take more off. Yeah. Definitely. Coach Ching, we're gonna go back to these rackets. No, <laughs> but I like the idea of shaving the weight off of it. Um, the lighter one definitely had more pop. I didn't really like the heavier one, um, meaning like uh, the five gram one versus the ten gram one that was shaved off a bit more. They play just like pro staffs to me at least um i think if anything it would be interesting to see if they um to learn the reason why he shaved uh particular areas off the racket um maybe it had to do with the balance of it but i would be interested to see what he would do with uh you know if he shaved off maybe a bit of the handle too as well or different parts of the racket to see if that could add to um the kind of weight distribution on this racket so because in general like the pro staffs they are um, they feel quite good when you're hitting with them but i think now when you shave off different parts of the racket to um you know uh, get rid of some of the excess weight you start now getting more pop um and comparable to some of the other rackets out there like you know bablots or even the ultra on the same line so that's what i would ask so, just to clarify what Coach uh, Chris was talking about. So, he after he shaved it, he put a clear coat on it. That's why it looks shiny. Um, the weird thing was we got more feel. Well, at least I felt like I got more feel out of these. When it hit the strings, I felt the string absorb more of the ball and then shoot out. It felt almost more hollow yeah, with it, it like this. Did. Yeah. I think because of the shaving, because of the paint, Usually on the on the uh, was it the pro staffs are matte, so therefore it does a matte finish does compensate kind of like the, the the vibrations of the racket, so you don't feel it as much. But when you actually put a clear coat, it's basically a lighter and thinner kind of layer. So therefore, yes, you get more feel of the ball. Yeah, I call way. it feel. Some people call it vibration. Yeah. So either way, it's you feel it. 
Yeah. And I like to feel it, even though we kept the even dampeners. though we kept the dampeners on it, you, you still feel it. feel it. Yeah. Yeah. So it was probably better that we did keep the dampeners on these because it felt like we weren't playing with a dampener. Yeah. So, but definitely um, great experiment if you definitely have a lot of time on your hands and money. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, try it out. I mean, it looks like a pro stock racket. In a way, he yeah. was all said and done with it. When when Coach Chris first walked up to me, he's like, "Oh, pro stock, pro pro staffs." I let him think that, and then he walked out there, and then he was like, "Somebody painted this." I was like, "Yeah, you should be doctor. You're so smart." <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no fun. Good rackets, actually. I, I wouldn't mind them like this, to tell you the truth. They felt really, really good like this. Um, but but to shave out good rackets, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, you got to be rich and got a lot of time on your hands. Or pay somebody like Dan to do it. Coach Koo, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, of course. Where can they find you? You can find me at hu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, Coach Chris, thank you for always being a good sport and hanging. And always looking for a new racket, so I got content for people. All right, tell yeah. them where they can find you. You can find me at CV Chan Tennis. That's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Man, it's windy today. Am I at the right club? Where is this wind coming from? I should have restrung my racket. My eyes are so itchy. My socks don't quite. How feel am I gonna right? deal with this wind? Man, it's windy today. I gotta make sure I'm tight. Hope Leonard is stringing those. Man, did I have enough water today? Why is it so freaking windy today? Tight. Where is yeah, that water bottle? Did I, did I remember my? Where is this wind coming from? Tight. Where is my phone? Was I supposed to get my kid from school? Yeah, I think I lost my water. Do I don't I need a water battery bottle. Light for my did cell I bring the right bars? Right I think I need a massage. Man, did I have enough coffee Maybe today? I should have How am I going to deal with this wind? Screen today? Let's open the APEAK app and find my Zen. As you prepare for your match, let's talk briefly about consistency. Time to play. <laughs>